You want to get shaders like the ones you're seeing right now in Minecraft 1.21.1. Well, in this video, we're going to go over exactly how to get shaders, how to download them, how to download the shaders mod, all of that stuff in order to get shaders that look like the ones you're seeing here and any other shader pack that you want to install. You'll be able to do so after watching this video. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting shaders in Minecraft. It goes over everything you need to know in order to get shaders, and once you're here, go ahead and click download iris shaders if you're following along with the video if you do prefer the text guide you can go ahead and use that once you click a download iris shaders on this page it will take it to iris shaders official download page where you want to go ahead and click download universal jar here when that's clicked you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser but it's 100 percent safe to do that and it will go ahead and download once you do click save while this is downloading how much from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz ssgh to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mods plugins or mod packs to your server and customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way if you do run into any issues so go check out simple game host and get the first link in the description down below the breakdown xyz ssgh and start your minecraft server the simple way now with iris downloaded we need to download a shader pack as well shader packs are kind of like resource packs each of them is different in how they customize minecraft and with that we have this linked in the description down below this is our list of the best shaders for minecraft in 2024 and we keep this updated all of these are compatible with minecraft 1.21 and minecraft 1.21.1 shaders so we'll go ahead and grab a few bsl is one that i like but we're gonna skip that here and actually go with makeup ultra fast that's probably my favorite shaders makeup ultra fast then bsl then complementary shaders which if we scroll down here we will be able to find Complimentary shaders is great, especially if you're playing Minecraft with a bunch of mods and things like that. Complimentary is set up to work on as many GPUs, as many CPUs as possible, and be compatible with mod packs pretty much out of the box. We'll also go ahead and grab Vanilla Plus shaders here. This is a very light shaders pack, but that means it's a little more performant than others. So if you have a lower end computer, you can use Vanilla Plus. As far as downloading these go, when you click download on our website, it will take you to their official download pages. Usually that's going to be on CurseForge, like Vanilla Plus shaders here. We will want to click on Files. Make sure you're downloading the most recent version. 1.20 shaders, 99.9% .9 of the time, will work in 1.21. Click the three dots and click download file. Just like with downloading iris shaders, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, which is what we have to do here. Now, with that being said, while Makeup Ultra Fast and Complementary are on CurseForge, for example, we can download Makeup Ultra Fast by going to files here, finding that 1.21 version, clicking the three dots and clicking download. You can also download shaders on Modernth. For example, Complementary Shaders is on CurseForge. This is an official place to download it, as is their Modernth page. When you're here, go ahead and click on versions and then find the one. 1.21 version. Right here it is, 1.21.1. Go ahead and click the download button on that and click save here to save a version on CurseForge complimentary shaders in this case. It really does not matter which one you use. You can download shaders from Modernth here or you can download shaders from CurseForge. Both are trusted sources, so don't worry about that. Now with that being said, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we're going to move all of these to our desktop. So as you can see here, we have complimentary, Makeup Ultra Fast, Vanilla Plus, and Iris all in our downloads folder. We can move all these to our desktop right like so and get things going. Now first things first, we want to look at the Iris installer. The Iris installer is what's going to add the iris shaders mod to minecraft to allow us to actually use shaders to open this right click on it click on open with select java and click ok now with that being said if you don't have java here or you do and you click ok and it doesn't work that's because you need to get java 21 java 21 is required for minecraft 1.21 so if you've been able to install shaders in the past for that issue but suddenly you can't this is probably why because java 21 is now needed for minecraft 1.21 as you can see, we have an in-depth guide here on getting this. Download it, install it, and you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take out the jar files on your computer, like our shaders, and link them back to Java, making them work together. Now at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we can install Iris shaders by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. That will open up the Iris and Sodium installer. Yes, when you get Iris, you also get a mod called Sodium. They work together. And we can see the game version we want already selected, but if not, make sure you click on that and select 1.21.1. And then we want to go ahead and click Install here. When we do, after a few seconds, it will go ahead and download and install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.1. Not Minecraft 1.21, Minecraft 1.21.1. 
1.1. If you've never played that version before, just open it up to the main menu and close out of it. Then you'll be able to come back and install Iris Shaders. At this point, though, we can close the Iris installer and delete it. Now let's go ahead and get Minecraft open and install our shader packs. Luckily, this is super easy. From the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and click installations up here at the top, and then you want to make sure modded is checked, because if modded is not checked, as you can see, Iris isn't there. When you check modded, there it is. At this point, we can go ahead and play Minecraft using Iris by clicking the play button here, and then clicking play again. Now, Minecraft will open up with Iris shaders installed in version 1.21.1. That's the hardest part. At this point, it's super easy to install your shader packs. To install your shaders packs from the Minecraft main menu, click on options and then click on video settings. Then up here at the top, you have shader packs. Look at that. Go ahead and select it. And now to install your shaders packs, just drag and drop them from your desktop into this shader packs folder, right like so. Now, if for whatever reason that doesn't work, you can also click open shader pack folder here at the bottom and move your shader packs from your desktop into this shader packs folder. But since we uh, moved them into the game, it did that for us automatically. Now we can go ahead and select the shader pack that we want. Make sure up here it's enabled and then go ahead and click on it. For example, we could start with complementary shaders here and click apply. That's going to now enable those shaders and you can change specific shader pack settings by clicking shader pack settings at the bottom. For example, we have high, very high, ultra, potato, which is low in computers, very low, low, medium, and back to high settings there. You can change individual lighting settings. Tons of customization can be done, but now we can go ahead and check these out in game. To do that, we're going to go ahead and join a simple game hosting server. Shaders are actually very cool because nothing server side needs to be done for them to work on a server. You can join a vanilla Minecraft server, even servers like Hypixel with shaders and nothing has to be done server side for them to work. As a matter of fact, adding things like Irish shaders to a server can actually cause issues sometimes. Here we are in game. There is no denying that shaders is active. Looks amazing even at night here, but we can also do time set day and that will move us to daytime where you can really see the sun, things like that popping in. The clouds are a bit unique, but we can also change shader packs in game by going to options, video settings, shader packs at the top, and then we want to select another shader pack. We'll do vanilla plus shaders here. Click apply. When we do that, the lighting is going to be very different in the background. It's kind of hard to tell there's even shaders installed, except there is some fog there. The clouds are also unique, but the one way you can check is by this right here. The, you know, bushes are swaying in the wind. The leaves are swaying in the wind. That is a shader feature. This shader pack is meant to not have very aggressive shading and basically just kind of add a little bit to vanilla Minecraft. Lastly, there is makeup ultra fast shaders. Just to preview, that is also working. We can go and select that one and boom, there we go. Makeup ultra fast shaders is now installed. A bit more shading than vanilla plus shaders, for example, as well as the same swaying grass and leaves. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new Minecraft 1.21.1 shaders and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.